Today I'm going to show you how to get in and replace your hard drive. So if your hard drive failed on you, you just want to get a bigger drive, I'll show you how to get in and do that. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Today we're going to take a look at this Dell Latitude. This is a E7440 uh, computer. There's an interesting little thing with these latitudes. You can get an idea, you can know what year it is by the last two digits. The 40 at the end of this lets you know it's a 2014 model year. On this latitude, E7440, removing the battery, just slide right here. That lets your whole battery pop out, just like that. Pretty easy. You can obviously pop the new one in. All right, to get at the hard drive, the memory, other things, you gotta remove this cover plate here. I'll include a link, this is a little set that I love from Tekton to Amazon. There's lots of different sets, but it's got some great handy tools for working on small electronics and laptops and things like that. So there's two screws we need to undo here. You may want to use your phone, take a picture as you're working on this, taking things apart just so you remember which screws you took out from which places. Okay, now we're going to slide this toward the front of the system. There we go. Lots of tabs all over the place on this bottom cover. We've got four screws to take out. Two there, two there. Okay, let's pull this off. Okay, with this out, we can remove this hard drive cable. Just like that. So this is an older HDD drive. Your typical hard drive, this one's got moving parts in it. Things spin around in there, the disc spins around. This is a solid state hard drive. No moving parts, so there's a lot of advantages there. So if you've got an old HDD hard disk drive like this, that's got the salt, the uh, spinning moving parts, and you want to upgrade your computer performance, you can put in an SSD, a solid state drive. This one has no moving parts, it'll perform faster. They're obviously going to be more expensive because they're newer. So you take out the old bracket. You take out the old hard drive with the, the old bracket. Here's the new hard drive with the replacement bracket. It's going to line up just like so, so that everything kind of secures back in place with these uh, pins that plug into the, the uh, hard drive cable. There may be some adapters out that you can actually use the old frame from the, the, uh, the HDD drive. This one's just got the entire new frame, the cable adapter that adapts the drive here with this for the old harm to, to the old format hard drive cable. And with that, you just put the new one in. Now, as you upgrade your hard disk, having one of these SATA wires, SATA, that uh, has the adapter here to go into your hard drive and the USB connection on this end. This is really valuable because you can put your new hard drive here, you can plug it in to the USB on your computer, and then you can clone it, you can transfer files over, you can do all that, kind of get it ready before you put it into your machine. I won't go through all the details on that, you can find that all over the internet. Um, but I'll include an affiliate link where you can pick one of these up. I am going to show removing this hard drive, uh, the solid state one. Remove this drive, we've got the single screw. So just like that, here's our hard drive. It's a whole lot smaller than the, uh, the old format HDD disk drive. You can remove this whole assembly from the bracket if you want to as well. You shouldn't need to for, for just upgrading your solid state drive. So you line your pins up, come in at a bit of an angle, Push it in. It'll click into place. You'll feel it. You'll hear it. You also know because this screw is going to line up here. Put these pins lining up. 
tighten that screw down. Don't over tighten it obviously, but make sure it's firm. All right, putting this hard drive back in. We're just gonna slide, slide it in like that. Note I've, I've flipped this wire over on this one. Found it makes it easier for me. We're gonna turn this guy back over. Line up my screw holes, we'll screw it back in place. All right, while you're in here, there's other things that you can change. Your a wireless card, there's this coin battery that helps keep, uh, keep power for, I don't know exactly what, but if you run into problems, you may need to replace that coin cell battery. You can replace your fan, upgrade memory, there's a SIM card slot here if you're using a cell phone kind of card. While you're in here, look at your fan. It's a great time to clean it out, blow it out with a, a dust cleaner. Check out my other video of actually using a toothpick to clean out uh, the inside of the fan here. You'll be amazed at what kind of dust and buildup can come there. Now remember looking Look at your tabs, the way they, the direction they slide before you try to put this thing in, in place. Line up the tabs, it should be sitting nice and flush, and then just give it a little push back. There. I'm gonna loosely put screw one in. I'm gonna loosely put screw number two in over here. All right, putting our battery back in now. Remember you put this side in first and then you push down on the pins here. Angle in here, push down, clips in place. There you have it. Upgrade complete. Okay, thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. I hope you found that helpful as we went through this upgrade. You saw it's pretty easy to do. It can be done with just some basic tools. Make sure you've got a quiet place and you don't have static electricity, things like that. Also, if you found this helpful and feel so inclined, please leave me a tip. You can do that through uh, PayPal or Venmo. I'll include uh, my information so you can find those at the end of the video. Like the video, subscribe, share it, and have a great day.